Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a haul of things that I got at Value Village, Goodwill, and Savers. Most of them are already listed, so if you're interested in anything that I show you, you can leave me a comment and maybe we'll exchange emails and just sell directly to you guys. Stay tuned and see all the good stuff I found. I did make a Facebook group called Flying Into Profits, so if any of you guys are interested in joining, we can post pictures and it, we, people can answer your questions on the items you have. If you're interested in joining my Facebook group, it's called Flying Into Profits. Just send me an invite. I paid a little bit up for I bought her at Goodwill for $6.49 usually I, I try to stay at five dollars or less but this is brand new with tags and she's a Lennox and she's signed on her little bonnet there and she's a little music box She's so pretty. So I really don't know what I'm going to sell her for, but she's just perfect. The little flowers are intact and everything. And look at her little eyes. Just gorgeous. I'll let her play while we do this. <laughs> the next thing I got... For $1.49 is this Tommy Bohama scarf. And I did really didn't I didn't think that Tommy Bahama made women's scarves, but they do. I'm trying to find the tag. Here's the tag. It's a Tommy Bahama. So I'm thinking probably about $15 on this one. Next I found at Value Village, I found this Vera Bad Bradley makeup case. It has a zipper around and it's navy blue solid color. You don't really see many uh, Vera Bradleys that are solid color, but for, I mean, a dollar fifty, this was a good pickup. These boots are called Rachi. Rachi made in Italy. I looked these up. These are a major bolo. I need I do need to, to clean them up a little bit. I spent half of $8.49. So four dollars and some change. But they're just hikers. They do not have a size inside anywhere. So I'm gonna have to figure out the size. So these sell anywhere up anywhere from $50 to over $120 so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna price these as yet but they're just some made in Italy hiker boots good bolo there I've never heard of that brand before this jacket is made in Germany it's wool virgin wool it has the fringe on the bottom, it's zip up, and it's so pretty. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. But I figure, you know, I think I paid like $3 on this, but I mean, I, I could probably easily get $30 for that. This is a Peter Nygaard uh, leather vest. It has the studying detail. The solid back with a little bit of a sweater material on the bottom. I think I paid $3 for this. I could easily get $30. I got this Hollister sweater. It's 
sort of like an Aztec Native American design cardigan. Size large. I paid, I forget what I paid for this, but not anything over five. Oh, this is a bolo, a tooled leather wallet. This is a vintage tooled leather wallet. It has the checkbook compartment and the little photo thing. A little checkbook compartment and a little change part but I'm sure this is like from the 70s and this was at Goodwill this was a dollar fifty dollar fifty like 49 so that's a good find I have all these things listed. I listed it before I did the haul video in case anybody wants to purchase anything. The link to my store is in the little picture on the top. I have never found this brand before. This is, I've never found Lily Pulitzer in the wild, but I did. I found this tunic top, maybe a swimsuit cover up, tunic top. Really pretty. This one I paid $6.25 for, but I have a lot of people looking at it in my store, so I think the price is good that I have. I think I have it listed for like $35. This is another bolo to look out for. These slip slip 90s and this is a long one the print is sort of like a python print it has the the satin shimmer like material and this is by the brand secret Tre treasures and it's size xl but young girls seem to wear these little dresses with, you know, like a little moto biker jacket and Doc Martin boots. So it's very popular right now. I spent $3.50 for this. And this is a brand new with tags, free people. It's sort of a, a lace tunic or mini dress and it has the the slip underneath so brand new with tags free people and that's a score I got this very very warm this is a 5x Avenue sweatshirt zip up and this color is just amazing and it's so cozy but I think a lady some lady in some lady in this world is gonna enjoy this so much and that was a dollar and I got another brand new with tags this is a torrid size zero zero I'm gonna have to, to look up that size I think it's it's a 10 or I don't know size 10 but this is a high low tunic it has the the low part in the back and it's floral and it's brand new with tags the retail on this was 48.50 so I'm gonna put it in my store for 35 I don't find many made well jeans but i found some these are a small size these are a size 27 they're made well and they have the raw hem on the bottom like i said most of the stuff i spent five dollars or less I found this pearl snap denim shirt. It's made by Coral West Ranch Wear. It's a vintage size 2, 2X XXL. 
So these always sell very good for me. Another red wool sweater jacket. This is from Valerie Stevens, size XL. And it's wool, but it's a soft wool. And it's so pretty for Christmas. Very pretty. Next, I found a size four cabbie blazer. This is the second one I found like this. The other one was, I think, a size 10. This is a size four. And it's red for Christmas, for holidays. First time I found this next brand. This is All Saints. All Saints jacket. I don't think they knew what they had with this jacket. I spent $7.99 for this. Comps are around $2.50. This is the tag. And this is a women's size small. So I scored on this one. I sent out an offer today of $2.25 and we'll see if they accept it. Okay, now this other stuff's home goods, hard goods, and a few toys. I found this International Silver Company little um, tong. It's a sandwich tong. It's sterling. It's plated, so I don't have very much on this, but I only got it for 50 cents. These knives. Look out for these knives, vintage knives with the wooden handles. This is has the scalloped edging. And this is Dexter, Southbridge, Massachusetts, super stainless. These are bolos to pick them up whenever you can. This was less than a dollar. I have another knife. This one's Flint Stainless from Vandium, USA. Just a and this is in very good condition, less than a dollar, I think 95 cents. And this is another Flint stainless. The little music box is talking to me. And this has the scalloped edging. This is the brand Flint made in USA. These are bolos. I could probably get 25 a piece for those and I only spent 95 cents. Okay, this is a Delph serving tray. I've never seen serving tray before, but it does have a crack. It has a crack in it, but it's rimmed with this silver so it's not it's pretty sturdy still so I don't have this one listed yet but if anybody knows anything about the serving trays because I've never seen a serving tray in Delph I've sold a lot of Delph before but never a serving tray could you leave me a message down below I'd appreciate it don't have that one listed yet Hey, I got the Grave Digger, little car. I spent $4.49 for this one. And I have two, and I'm going to lot them up together. So I have a miniature one as well, and I spent $3.49 for this one. So a miniature one and a bigger one. So I'm going to lot them up together and sell these together. Grave digger. I don't think I don't know if they make grave digger ones anymore. 
This was a good score. And what else? Okay. I got this vintage Tupperware cereal dispenser thing. I spent $2.49 on this one. There's the price. I have no idea what I can get for this yet. I have to do research. This one's not listed. This stuff was from Goodwill. Half was from Value Village. And this was from Savers. I do not have... Sorry about the bag. I do not have these listed yet. But these are little Santa... Nesting Santas. So they have all the Santas. They're so cute. Another one. Uh oh, they're falling. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And that's it. Oh no, there's another there's another one. And then oh my gosh, these are so cute. There's so many. And then it goes down to that little tiny one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put all these back together now. How cute. How cute are these? Oh my gosh, what did I do? Actually, today we were supposed to go up to up north and to Prescott and see some family. But my husband took my kids because our big excursion truck broke and it won't start. So me and my mom were going to go and we got all dressed up, we had our snow jacket, cap on, ready to go. We got in the truck and it didn't start. So my car is not big enough for the entire family. So the, my, my husband took the kids and me and my mom had to stay home. So, kind of bummed about that, but I had all this stuff to do a video, and I thought, you know, since I'm dressed, I will make a video, so the whole day wasn't wasted. So, I'm making a video with all the stuff that, that I had purchased and hadn't shown you guys value village in one of my videos you can see me picking up these this was 4.99 just an art glass bowl very heavy this is another art glass i think this is a little candle holder this was 4.99 it has the swirled, swirling on the inside. I do not have these listed yet. And I got another one just like that one, but it's green. So that one was gold. This one's green. I spent $4.99. Just another little votive holder. And um, I don't know if, any, if you guys know this, but my name is Carol, and I found this vintage with butterflies. Little faux little pot that I can hang in my kitchen. And this is vintage. It says USA. Made in USA. I can't not reread the maker, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to keep this. I'm pretty sure that that's everything that I got. Um, so thank you for watching my video. And if you like the content of selling, reselling, 
going to thrift stores, yard sales, and finding things to flip for a profit, please follow me and subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload another video. And if you're interested to see what my November sales were, I do have a video, the one before this one. You can go on there and click on it and see what my November sales are. Um, I'm not like totally where I want to be, but you know, I'm very blessed and grateful for the sales that I do make. You guys, God bless everybody and stay safe. My next video is going to be a DIY thread up box and I should be getting that today. So I'm going to try to get that video uploaded within a few days. We can see what's in there. I hope there's some good denim in there. But until the next time, get out and fly into profits and take care of yourself. Peace. Thank you so much for watching my video. Now get out and fly into profits.